those drunk nights got me All those bright lights got to me We just came home from the party To start off with this easy everyday glam makeup look I'm patting the professional primer by Benefit all over my T-zone for foundation, I'm going to be using this Milani Conceal and Perfect Foundation. This does have a bit of an orange undertone, but once I start highlighting and contouring, it will look a bit more toned down. And as usual, I'm just dabbing it to get the full coverage look. So after I'm done blending in the foundation with the brush, I'm just taking a beauty blender and bouncing that all over my face to smooth everything out. Now I'm taking LA Girls Concealer in the shade Medium Beige and drawing triangles under my eyes to cover and brighten my dark circles and also to the centre points of my face. So I like to let my concealer sit there for a minute before blending it out so that the highlight pops out more. So in the meantime, I'm using Makeup Revolution's Ultra Cover and Conceal Palette and taking the darkest shade with a small foundation brush to apply my contour. Then I'm taking a fluffy angle brush to blend out the contour. So as you can see, I'm using upward strokes to blend out the cheek contour because I find that this method doesn't rub off my foundation. And with the chin contour, I'm blending it downwards so that it looks more natural. Now I'm blending out the concealer using a damp beauty blender after letting it sit there for 2-3 to three minutes. I'm also taking it up to my eyelids as well too so that it acts as an eyeshadow base. To set all the areas where I applied a concealer, I'm going to be baking my face with the usual Ben Nye Banana Powder. Now I'm also applying it under my contour which I don't usually do but I've noticed that this helps tidy up my contour and make it look a lot sharper. So to set my contour or bronze my face, I'm using Sleek's Blush and Contour Palette. And uh, as you can see, I applied a little too much on my forehead, so I'm just taking any remaining bits of concealer from my beauty blender to tidy that up. Moving on to the eyes, I've already primed it earlier with the concealer, and I'm taking the lighter shade from the Urban Decay's Ultimate Basics palette, and just patting that shade all over my eyelids with a flat brush. Then using a small fluffy brush, I'm taking the brown shade and just blending that into the sockets of my crease. Now I'm taking the lighter brown shade to blend everything out using a bigger fluffy brush. Using the same fluffy brush, I'm taking just a small dab of the burnt orange shade and blending that into my crease and slowly bringing it upwards. And I'm just adding more product bit by bit until I'm happy with the colour. These colours are so pigmented, you don't even need to go heavy handed to pick up the product. Blending is key, so I'm just going to keep blending until everything is blended out properly. So now I'm just wiping off all that powder after letting it sit there for 15 to 10 minutes. Going back to the eyes, I'm taking a pencil brush and taking that same milky shade and applying it to the inner tear duct. For the eyeliner, I'm using this one by L'Oreal. And yes, for once, I'm using a different eyeliner. I know, so surprising. And I love how this one makes my wing look super jet black. Here I'm just basically trying to make my inner wings look even which 99% of the time never ends up looking the same because both my eye shapes are slightly different. And then for my lower lash line I'm applying the light brown shade with a pencil brush. To coat my lashes before applying the falsies I'm using Lash, Lash, sorry I can't pronounce this, Lash Sensational by Maybelline. Comes and 
And then for my waterline, I'm applying this black waterproof liner by NYX. For the lashes, I'm using Vegas by Lily Lashes. And while I wait for the glue to get tacky, I'm just taking a small tea break. So I am currently obsessed with these lashes, like literally. You're gonna see me wear these in a lot of my videos, yeah. So I'm going back to an old school favourite, my first ever highlighter, the highlight that got me into highlight obsession. Yeah, I'm using the So Hollywood highlighter by Anastasia and just applying that to my cheekbone, the bridge of my nose and the brow bone. For the lip liner, as usual, I'm using Urban Cafe by NYX and then going over that with Lottie London's liquid matte lipstick in the shade Work It, which is a really pretty mauve shade. And finally to set my face I'm using Dewy Finish Setting Spray by NYX. So this is the finished look, thank you so much for watching, don't forget to like, comment and subscribe and I'll see you all in my next video. Bye guys!